Database systems need to deal with transaction management. A database transaction is a set of related queries that must be either completed or ejected as a whole. Otherwise, there may be some queries with inconsistent or incorrect data. For example, if there was a Venmo transaction that transferred funds from one bank account to another, and if the buyer sends $50 from his or her account to the seller's account, but only the first query was successful where the money was sent, but the second query failed and the $50 was not received by the buyer, then where did that money go? It just disappeared into thin air. So to prevent incorrect data, the transaction either processes both of those queries if they're successful or processes none of them at all if one of them should fail. When processing transactions, databases must process all or nothing. So a computer or application might fail when processing a transaction and it must revert the partial results, restoring the database back to the original values prior to that transaction. Databases should also prevent conflict. So a conflict occurs when multiple transactions access the same data at the same time. For example, if Bob selects a seat on an airplane flight and Mary tries to buy the same seat in a different tra transaction before Bob completes his transaction, then when Bob clicks on the purchase button, his seat on that flight is no longer available. And that's a conflict. Also, databases should prevent data loss. So all transactions, whether they're successful or failed, must always be saved on storage when completed so that there's always a history of what, what is happening in that database.